and then evaluating the plan. First question is, did we succeed? And there's two ways of measuring here. So if, if your goal was to get 30% of sales from new products, and you got 30.001% of sales from new products, did you succeed or not? So if you're expecting grandma to give you $1,000 for Christmas and grandma gave you 1001 was that good or bad? <laughs> Did you succeed or not? <laughs> uh, so yeah, the first thing is, did you make your goal? These are where the outcome measures come in. Did you achieve your goal? If you achieve your goal, good things happen. Uh, promotions happen, bonuses happen. Um, and it's great, and Michael Dell is famous for saying, you know, when you've achieved your goals, we celebrate for 24 hours, <laughs> and then we start looking at what we're going to do better next time. Um, and so the next one is, how can we do better next time? Um, so in the first case, 32% uh, is better than 28%, right? Because 32% is above goal, 28% is, is below goal when it comes to measuring success. When it comes to the post-mortem, 28% and 32% are both the same. They're both bad. Why? Say again? No. So 32% you did, 28% you didn't. Your goal was 30. They're equally bad. You've, you've already celebrated. You've already got your bonus. We're trying to think again for next year. Um, why is 32% and 28% equally bad? Because it wasn't what you planned. You missed the target. You either overestimated by 2% or you underestimated by 2%. But the point was you could have done a better job forecasting. So again, you've already celebrated, got your bonus and stuff, and then you just say, okay, how close did we come? And then we look at all of the diagnostics. What things could we do better? Of all of the activities that we had, what worked, what didn't work? Um, where was there money wasted? Where would more money be, um, you know, higher ROI would give us more effectiveness? Um, and all of that feeds back into the planning process. So when you come to do the situation analysis for the next iteration of the plan, you have your past results. I've tried these things. I know it works. I know it doesn't work. Uh, this is called institutional memory, and it is a competitive advantage. I think that's all I have to talk about today.